Sunday. Tom's dad has been here for a couple of hours. They've just been upstairs doing piping for the radiators. We're getting the two radiators upstairs uh, into the loft room now. I think the plan for today is to do that, get started on, hopefully finish, but at least get started on the internal wall for the back bedroom um, as we, early in the week, cleaned up, did the roof, etc. So I think we're wanting to do the ceiling plaster build, build those walls. I don't know if I gave this context beforehand, but basically, sorry, I've got the air fryer on. I don't know if I'd said this before, but basically the reason we're doing this big upstairs rush is that Tom's parents are going to Spain for three weeks in the middle of August. And so what we would love to happen is that all of the loft stuff is done, ready for the plasterer to come in. So while they're away, the plasterer can come in, I can decorate, and then our top story is completely done. We'll get the tilers in for the bathroom and all of that sort of stuff. And then we'll have an upstairs area. The plan would then be with that downstairs bedroom we're currently staying in to turn it into a bit of a lounge study area and then that means that we can get started on the outside extension so that's why we're doing the mad upstairs rush that's the plan for today but first i'm going to get through this coffee and feel a little bit more human So this area here is obviously the shower, got stuff in it at the moment, but the glass will be coming around here. And what we want to do is have, I've mentioned this a few times, but the little niches inside the shower. So yeah, we're thinking of having two, maybe one, we'll see when we cut. And that's what we're gonna get to now. This is the other side of the shower, so the back. And so we're just gonna cut all of that round to make the hole. It's like struggling like, just a little bit. I did arm day with Tom two days ago and uh, I can't raise my hands above my head. <laughs> So we've now cut up plasterboard and made this full indent. We have decided to stick with just the one. I feel like it's placed really nicely in the shower. I feel like another one below would be too low and another one on top would be too high. And the way that the noggins were placed behind this wall meant that this is where the one of the gaps had to be and the other one would need to be on top or below. So we think it would look a bit weird. We're sticking with one. Also it's less work, which at this point is great. So on today's jobs, we are building the wall for the back bedroom. So we're putting the door in place. We've been putting this off for a while now because the door is slightly smaller than, than a normal sized door. So I think we're going for a 682 in this bedroom. So yeah, just working on that today after we've done the radiators and laid some more chipboard. While the boys are doing that wall, I'm going to be tanking the shower. Um, someone on a previous video mentioned that we actually had to tank the shower to make sure it was waterproof. And it wasn't something that we realized we had to do and it also wasn't something that we'd seen in building rigs before, but we looked it up and it is a part of that. So thank you very much for pointing that out. Uh, maybe saved us some leaks. And I'm basically just gonna be following this brochure. So today Martin came round and bought this tanking kit. He got it off Amazon for 50 pounds and it comes with everything you need to tank a shower up to, I think, seven and a half meters. First thing you do is use this tanking primer and you basically give the entire shower a paint. 
Then you follow up with the tanking tape and the tanking mat. And then finally the tanking membrane, which you then paint on as well. So the prep, the tape, and the membrane should hopefully well, stop any leaks and make that fully waterproof. In preparation for the tanking, we've just removed any of the black hardware for the shower. That one's still up there, but I'm just gonna tape it. And that one's obviously not near anything, so that's fine. And for that one there, I've just wrapped in a plastic bag. the wall progress so far. Got Tom sawing away at the staircase so that obviously there's nothing to trip on as you go past and Martin is getting the door frame together. Just wrapped up this about a half an hour ago and just added a one hour timer for it to be dry. Um, it says you can do two coats but we might just do the one for now. We've been upstairs working hard it's been raining a lot and uh, we decided to finally check the weather downstairs and have happened upon the fact that our road is completely flooded and the water is now up to our front door. Also went to the back of the house to check how the back one was doing and discovered our entire kitchen is flooded. We've just found a kitchen like this. So good. Things are not looking up at the moment. We've just put these sandbags down with some plastic sheeting in the hopes that it will control the water when it does. And I say when, not if. When it does eventually get to our front door. Um, but Martin made a very good point. What is there we can do about it right now? So just shut that door and hope it stops raining very soon. Hello again. It's uh, Tuesday now. We are Feeling slightly better than when we last left you. The flooding has gone down, the water has left our home. Things are looking okay. Uh, kind of got us down, but we got over it pretty quick. We're just gonna build a little extra step up to our door so it doesn't happen again. Basically, we worked out that the very bottom of our house has air vents. So obviously the water just gets straight through the air vents. It goes all under the floorboards. There were literal puddles underneath our house. The good news is that Tom has found some telescopic air vents and basically what that means is we can just brick up our existing air vents, install new air vents, I'm assuming higher up the wall so that the water won't get to them and we should be good in the future. So it's got an okay fix. The kitchen obviously sucked but it was in part because we've got a door that doesn't touch the floor. Also the kitchen is below the rest of the house's level. We will be doing underfloor heating and raising the concrete so that will all be higher so it shouldn't happen again. It's gonna be fine. And now we're getting ready to go back to work. And now just laying rock wall for soundproofing for the floor below. You can see the rock wall that we lay months ago, which has been subject to the dust, and the rock wall we just laid a second ago, which is uh, interesting for our lungs, but Laying a floor, baby. Still breathing, still breathing. Just about. We've been so committed to off cuts that this is actually the first time I've seen this rolled up in like a ready to cut ball, but that's how we do it on a budget. Also with the rock wall, I will be putting them in the internal walls and that also will help uh, stop noise traveling as much through them. So when laying chip ball down, we've always got to ensure that the balls are staggered, that helps with noise reduction and we also need to have a circular saw to cut round the beam so we can slot it in nicely. So that's going to be our first challenge. You can see the boards end here right by the end of this room so the first one will be pretty easy, we can just lay down this whole thing. Was it annoying at the time? Yes. Was I frustrated? Yes. But I don't think I'm ever gonna chop a piece of chipboard incorrectly again. So I'm glad it happened. And yeah, let's get on with the rest of the chipboard. Another hour, another board. 
day three of chipboarding the lap. Day two. Will they? Day two? Yeah, we only did it yesterday. Oh. Maybe start again. I didn't show you the finished product yesterday so here's where we've got up to almost an entire room we haven't laid the last bit of chipboard because martin still has to do something with the electrics over there and we obviously need to decide how big our radiator is going to be and as you could tell by the state of us it's another day on the job site other than that i'm just spending the evening cleaning up all the floorboards in this back room i don't know whether the builders were meant to do this but when they put new floor joists above the old floor joists and just knocked out the roof basically. All of the rubble and stuff is underneath those old floor joists so I'm just digging down trying to get all of that up. It's such a filthy job but that means that Tom and his dad can get to work on the lights in the downstairs bathroom so that we can put the floor in this room so that we can, you know, you've heard the story a million times but getting underneath those floorboards and installing the lights is just something we need to do beforehand and also it just needed a clean so that's what I've been up to. We've just finished tidying up for the night, but I did just want to take you around the loft really quickly. I think Tom and Martin on Friday did so much. They've got the lights up. They've built internal walls, everything's looking amazing. And now that it's night time, I yeah, just wanted to kind of walk around and show you the feel of everything at the moment because it's really starting to feel like it's coming together. So quick whistle stop tour, you'd come up the stairs. This is the dressing room. The lights are all in, it feels super nice and bright. I know there's a bit of a dark corner because a couple of them are still hanging from the ceiling, but once they're up, they look amazing, um, yeah. We are very close, just got to obviously plasterboard this side and this side to make this uh, stud wall finito and that's it. Going to be plasterboarding this week, ready for the plasterer to come straight in. Ceilings are up, yeah, I am uh, cannot wait for the day I can get ready for work in this room. And then spinning round, you're walking up here to the bathroom. Bathroom's a little bit dark at the moment because only one of the lights is in but we will have all four in, including one in the shower. You can see the tanking. I'm just waiting for that first layer to dry and I'll do the second one tomorrow. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with this bathroom. I feel as though it feels a lot bigger. We were worried about the size, but I'm really happy with it. And then for me, the most exciting part, what will be our bedroom, our nice loft room. The uh, stud wall is built, all of the lights are in, the roof is up. We had all of the angled plasterboard screwed in with these insulation discs, which one of you in the comments actually said we shouldn't use. Um, so thank you for that. They have all now been removed. Just got one final bit there. Just need to plasterboard up all of there. The plan is to have the bed coming down this way. Um, and I'm thinking of doing kind of a black paneled kind of Nordic wall over in this corner, probably a chair, a plant, maybe some shelves here. But we will see, we're getting there. So the priorities for this week, finishing the plasterboard basically everywhere that still needs it, getting that second layer of tanking in the shower, and then getting the plasterer in to uh, wrap this baby up. I'm thinking about doing the tiling, which I said I wouldn't do, and we started looking at tilers, but a few people have told me it's not a difficult job, you just have to be really particular, which I think I could be. Um, and I don't know. Please let me know. If you've tiled before, please let me know in the comments before how hard it was, how it went, and if you would recommend doing it. Um, I have so much leave. I've got about 20 days leave left to use, and I think maybe put it to good use. I don't know. I'm still deciding, but we will decide in the next few days, so please do let me know in the comments below what you think. That 
my friends is probably it for this week i know this loft has been many videos in a row so thank you for sticking around thank you for being patient we are getting there if you've liked watching this and if you are excited for the loft to be done please give this video a like it really helps boost the channel and if you would like to follow us doing up our little house in east london uh, please do hit the subscribe button we upload videos every single wednesday that is it for this week thank you again for watching and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye